We're welcoming back NFL analyst Joe Gavassi, who is 30 and 10 on SBR videos. That's production. And uh, I'm just grateful to have the opportunity to spend this time with Joe. Joe has his big dog play of the week as the Eagles are getting 10 points going to New England. So I'm anxious to hear the breakdown. Uh, I'm not pushed or sold either way yet, Joe. Uh, first and foremost, great to have you back. Happy holidays to you and your family. And uh, give us your break down and why you think Eagles plus 10 uh, spells a W for the big dog of the week. Well, you don't get the 30 and 10 against the spread without some good fortune. And that's exactly what we had with Green Bay last night. And you don't get the 30 and 10 without being a little bit contrary. And that's exactly what we are with our big dog plays in the NFL, which have had huge success again this season mainly because we use a lot of contrary thinking and maybe there's not a bigger contrary game on the board than taking the Philadelphia Eagles plus the 10 points. Anybody who watched them on Thanksgiving Day came away with the question, was their coach Kelly trying to lose the game more or were the players trying to lose the game more to get him fired? Either way, they were absolutely horrendous against Detroit, and now they're on a big negative slide the last two weeks in which they've allowed over 90 points. That, however, usually signals extra value in the NFL, and it certainly has in this case, as they are now a double-digit favorite. Of course, that comes against the New England Patriots, no longer among the undefeated, as their bubble was burst last week in Denver a game that looked like it was unfortunate for New England to lose, but a closer look at the stats shows the Broncos handled them at the point of attack and in the yardage stats as well. Keep in mind, though, it's always next man up for New England, and even though they have numerous offensive injuries on the line and to their receivers, it has been historical that Brady and Belichick will bounce back in situations like this. Remember, they've covered their last seven games following a loss. Mm -hmm. Tough to bet against New England in this one, but it is so contrary and there is so much value that I am very comfortable lining up with the Eagles here as a double-digit dog. That's a good analysis, Joe, and there is just a lot of content, a lot of drama, a lot of factors in this ball game. Um, I, I was all over Denver last week, and, you know, again, the ball bounces your way, but that was a big win for me. I just really felt that Denver's defense was so much better than what people really think. Um, again, and through the years, Belichick plugs holes like it's nobody's business. He does it better than anybody. He's a master. There's just so many holes to plug right now. That, that boat has got to be sinking, um, but not to the point of failure because that's what the Patriots do best. They rebuild, but they're really missing Edelman. Of course, Gronk's going to be out. Um, you also have to take in factor, and I need to do this as well. You got to pissed off Tom Brady. He is not happy. The officiating went against them, and that was, you know, pretty clear that it did. Here's the other thing, though, and I'm a big music fan, Joe, and I'm a big sports fan. And when I look at the Eagles today, um, already gone, a song by the Eagles, how ironic. Um, Kelly's gone. He's not there. A, a friend of mine, we did a video almost four weeks ago, had some information leak out of Costa Rica that Kelly was was going to be going to, to Tennessee to, to you know have his marriage with Mariota, and I guarantee you that will happen. I, I feel it will, but he's lost his team in the locker room. He's lost his team on the field. Uh, I think, though, the 10 points is going to be enough because of the banged-up condition that the Patriots are. And again, that's, that's just my, my look at it. There's no quarterback on the Eagles that impresses me right now. I think Tim Tebow would have been better off, to be honest with you, but that's, you know, that's stretching it, but who knows. But viewers out there, you heard it. Joe Gabasi taking the Eagles plus the 10 on the big dog of the week, and 30 and 10 against the spread gives me no reason to refute that. So jump aboard, and Joe, thanks again for being with us, and we look forward to having you back again with us real soon.